Okay, this is a supplement to the text which follows here in the thread. Try to get everybody's head around this Indus County and directional business. First off, user attributes for milk truck start spline. You'll see is one way. Milk truck road. Milk truck directions. Milk truck indices. Indices and directions is what I'm worried about here now. The rest of your uh, the rest of your stuff should be set unless you get a radically different layout here. You'll have to watch what these are set for. Also, the traffic road, the spline dairy is set up as a traffic road also, so both of these are ticked, I think. We'll get to that in a minute. Start counting with zero. Your truck, your start trigger is in between these two splines, milk truck start and milk truck end. So you've got zero here, direction one. On spline dairy, notice three directions, three indices. Now what's all this about? Okay, let's take them one at a time. He leaves zero, goes on to the next. This is zero, this is one. Right here in this one. Direction one. Okay, now when he comes up to these other two and comes back to the spline, this is counted as five, still direction one. As he goes down here, this is six, this is seven, still direction one. Milk truck end, into eight, still direction one. Okay, let's take them one at a time here again. Milk truck start is zero. Spline dairy, this stretch here is Indus two. Metal one is Indus three. See the user attributes, and this is also used twice. But here you'll notice there's a two when he comes back. This indicates a change in direction. One going to the cow zone, two coming out of the cow zone. Number two in this going in. The next loop is three, so coming out is in this four. Okay, this is your loop by the milk tank. You've got to set your uh, milk truck pickup trigger by the milk tank. Make sure your spline is going through it somewhere. It doesn't have to be on a node or a, a vertice. These little dots are vertices. As long as it's on the line there somewhere, you should stop at it. Okay, we're coming back out to the splined area again.
zero, one, two, three, four, counting metal one twice, five, this is the second count on the spline dairy, to number five. Then you move on to the milk spline, which I renamed here. It's just plain spline in the, in the uh, other file. This has user attributes also. Milk truck indus, milk truck direction, I'm not really too clear on why this is a 2 here now. Because he hasn't used this road before. But if it works for them, I'm not going to argue with them. And this is number 6. Moving back to Spline Dairy again. Six. Seven, as indicated here. That's the third time he uses the Spline Dairy spline. Still direction one. So we get the milk truck end. Still direction one, end us eight. Now as far as I can determine, you can only have like six splines with a total of eight indices. That's what they used in there. I'm thinking that's what the game recognizes any more than that. And, uh, milk truck is going to go to Never Never Land or something, I don't know. But uh, that's it in a nutshell. If you read through the read through the text here, this may be enough to clear it up for you. But if you read through the text a few times, you should get the idea. Naturally, this isn't going to match your layout when you get it into your map going to have to move all these around to get them to match up with where your dairy is and uh, to get to your cow zone how your roads are laid out. So there you have it. Have fun with it. Ha <laughs> ha.